Isaiah here with Digga Excavating. We're out here at Dave's Concrete, one of our main septic tank manufacturers, and we're here to tell you three things you might not know about septic tanks. A standard septic tank consists of a tank, a riser, and a lid for access, an inlet pipe, and an outlet pipe. The sewer water comes in through this pipe right here, it's called the inlet pipe. It drops down into the tank, and it exits the tank to a drain area through this pipe called the outlet pipe. We also have something called an effluent filter that sticks down in here and keeps any solids from entering the drain area. A common misunderstanding we get from customers is confusion around what it means for the tank to be full. So your tank doesn't operate like a gas tank in your car where it's either full or empty. It more acts as a trap for solids. As sewage comes into your tank, it separates into three main components. A layer of fat on the top, a layer of sludge on the bottom, and clear water called effluent in the middle. As time goes on, the fat layer and the sludge layer get thicker and thicker, and if they aren't cleaned out, they'll get into your drain area and plug it up. The baffle acts as a protection for your drain field. It prevents the layer of fat from floating out into the field. The pipe goes down so that even when this layer gets thicker, the effluent is still the only thing that's able to travel up through the baffle and out into the field. Some tanks have a concrete wall that acts as a baffle, but in most cases in Michigan, you'll have this pipe baffle. Some people are wondering if plastic tanks are now becoming more popular. While we're still primarily installing concrete tanks, there are some advantages to having a plastic tank. The first advantage is that they're lightweight, easy to move around, and they can be installed in areas where the tank company can't reach with their big crane trucks. The second advantage is that they don't corrode like concrete tanks. So in some counties where corrosion is more common in concrete tanks, they will require us to install a plastic one. Really the only downside to plastic tanks is they tend to pop out of the ground if there's a higher water table because they don't weigh a lot. In that case, concrete tanks are preferable.